Hi there, in this video we will solve this Math Olympiad question. Let's read the question. A, B, C, D is a square. E, F, G, H are midpoints of A, P, B, P, C, P and D, P line segments respectively. What fractional part of the area of square A, B, C, D is the area of square E, F, G, H? Before we start the solution, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you like this video, you can hit the like button. Let's get started. If we see in the question, if we see fractional part of something to another, so what we need to know, it's asking fractional means what we have, it's asking what we have over the total things, total area, total quantity it's asking. So in this question, what we have is small square area over big square area. That means we need to find the small area and the big area in this question and then we will divide them to each other. So how do you find small area and how do you find big area? So we don't need to know the side lengths of these, of these squares but we can just make it up and find relative relation between them. Let's say if I add, if I say x for the small square side length. Information we are given is these are midpoints. E, H, G, F. These are midpoints of the side length of AP and side length AC. They are diagonals. They are connected. If they are connected, they, are, they become diagonal of the big square. So being midpoint means uh, this small green triangle here, the right triangle. So since 360 is divided evenly to four angles. So these are all right angles. And the small triangle has this right triangle and the big triangle below it, it has the also sharing. It is also sharing this right triangle. So therefore we have a similarity. So this side length is one unit. So if we can call this unit A, the side length A, and we can see that this big side length of the big uh, triangle is going to be 2a. Therefore, if the side length of hypotenuse of the small hypotenuse is the line uh, segment across to 90 degree right angle, we called it x. If it is x, then because of the similarity, the side length of the big square is going to be 2x. So we found what we needed. I can calculate the small area of the of the green square, which is going to be x times x. So small area I can call is going to be x times x. It's going to be x squared. And the big area, the same way, the area formula of square. This time we have 2x as a side length of the big square. 2x times 2x it will give us 4x squared. So if we plug this in into our fraction calculation, you can say x squared here and 4x squared is going to be the bottom value representing big a, big area, small area x squared. So these x squares will, this is x squared, this x squared and this x squared will cancel each other. Then we will find the fraction is 1 fourth. One fourth is the solution to our question. I hope you enjoyed this solution and uh, you like the question. If you like this video, please uh, don't forget to hit the like button. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn notifications on so you can be updated when we upload a new content to our channel. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next video. Bye.